Game Watch here, here to bring you my reaction to the skateboard kit. Now I now sadly um the computer that I had for my previous reactions has broke um for because the system got messed up and it got fried. So sadly we can't use that. It's gone for good. But that doesn't stop me from reacting to videos. Now when I was like scrolling around, I was bored and stuff. I saw this video right here, the skateboard kit by John Trump. Now, never in my life have I ever heard anything about the skateboard kit, besides in real life that there would be kids skateboarding and they would nickname themselves uh, the skateboard kid or whatever. But never have I ever heard something like this. So I'm kind of amused what it is. Is it a movie? Is it a video game? Is it something? I don't know. That's why I'm here to react to this for the first time. Let's do this. Sorry about that, I had to rearrange the volume. It's pretty loud. Oh my god, that is so cool. That animated pixelated version of that was awesome. Late say seventies probably. Together. That's right. Today we're watching the skateboard kid. Oh, it's a movie. Why take the road when you can fly? This film was made in 1993 and features the voice of the late Don DeLuise, who is the voice of such characters as Jeremy from Secret of Nim and Pizza the Hut from Oh God. In this flick, he voices a character named Rip. So they were just trying to drive the point home. All right, let's go waste some time and watch this thing. Cut it for real. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. <laughs> wow, that's one flashy intro. I can't wait for what's to follow. The skateboard kid, here we go. <laughs> by the trash kitten. What is that, like a kitten you found in the trash? Either way, great band name, guys. <laughs> hmm, is that so? Yes, it does appear the back of that skateboard says tower. Why though? Why is this the first shot of the movie? Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. I remember when I rented out my local laser tag for the night of my birthday. Okay, Max. Let's rip. I'm a pretty cool dude. And that's just a fact. <laughs> so, what? Do you have some sort of coordinated plan here besides just skateboarding around? You look like he had something really serious planned. Also, skateboarding inside all slowly like that is just, well, it's impractical at best, and it just makes you look silly. Oh, God. Okay, so their master plan was just, I guess, to mess with this guy. He literally just stands there and says the words chicken wings over and over. I mean, they must have planned it in advance, because this kid hooks up the police car like he knows the police is going to chase him. Well, they just take another target, you know, like out of the cop's line of sight. Hey. chicken <laughs> boy. First of all, that insult could have used the Second of all, the pain and humiliation I feel daily are immense. For someone like you to cut someone like me deeper, well, you must have problems yourself, buddy, so I feel bad for you, and how fucking dare you say that to me! Oh, 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 oh my god! god. <laughs> so first oh my god, he had a nunchuck. Shots of skateboard tricks. Like all these shots they coordinated with the airplanes. I'm assuming they just rolled up to LAX and did this before the security showed up. I mean, half the tricks they do aren't even that impressive. They're just jumping around like idiots. Well, I mean, when they, uh, when that dude Ollie over the but tree, that was pretty impressive. Say, skateboarder? Or perhaps this is a tribute song to the life and times of a man named Scott Border. Mr. Border's gonna really appreciate this. I just feel it. <laughs> it's gonna be great. 
almost hitting a young boy nonchalantly and pretending it didn't happen. I feel like in the real <laughs> shot, that was just as dangerous as it looked. Whatever you say, Dad. He looks like Terry Kennedy. Yeah, whatever you say, Dad. Never mind this gaggle of skateboarders that for some reason are now following our car. Uh, yeah? How slow are you guys going that these kids can just roll up to your car window? Dad. Extremely slow. Oh my god. I guess you really shouldn't have been wearing that chicken mask while skateboarding. <laughs> you killed it. <laughs> oh my god. No. Why are you the road like that? Take care of the sides, Barney. Yeah, check out this stupid picture of your face. Also, our friend is actually dead. <laughs> Oh, God, it's those post-mortem spasms. Very funny, guys. Oh, you were never dead at all. That was just a trick. A dirty trick by some dirty boys. I was, but then you took your mask off. What's that? Wait, what is right there? Was that a sarcastic answer? I'm not sure how to take that. Oh no, there it is! It really That's is. what he's saying! So why was his answer so weird and then he runs away? Thanks for the directions, dude! Excuse me, do you know how to get to 50th Street Station from here? Uh, yeah, you go down 10 blocks that way, make a right, you can't miss it! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That was gay. <laughs> uh, prank videos in a nutshell. Sometimes the thing you're looking for is staring you right in the face. Well, Mom sure used to say a lot of things that hold very little relevance to most situations. I'm telling you, I got a good feeling about this place. You'll see. You're going to love this guy. Uh oh, you, oh, you think oh, so? You, uh, whatever. You won't be needing that anyway. You just start her up and Whoa, hey, buddy, listen. Grandma don't need no help. She's about to get out there and start tearing up some asphalt. Just clear the way. <laughs> bye bye. So now we meet this character, Dan, the usual sleazy car salesman type. <laughs> he looks like the old version of. Um, he's not even doing it that well. Which I'm like what I do at home. Back in the future. Watching and I'm pretending to be cool. <laughs> Same spot, are you kidding? Wow, well you're just a real waste of fucking human life, aren't you? <laughs> Dang! Thug life for John Tron. So next we cut to the kids from earlier messing with a neighborhood girl. <laughs> I did not expect that. You startled him. He's like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, Christ! So I guess the <laughs> oh my god. His father is doing poorly at his new job, so he was sent to direct a commercial. But isn't that like an upgrade? I don't know. Hey, Dad. Oh, yeah. What is it, Zach? Dad, I need a loan. I know it's kind of hard. I said that now, Zach. Hmm. No, you didn't. Zach. 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 Oh, Christ! <laughs> Oh my god, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Holy shit, he punched his skateboard clean in half! You gotta be really angry to get that level of punch! Welcome, <laughs> punch! Wait, what? Wait, I gotta go back. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, hold on, let me let me get back to this part. I just realized and I'm hold on, I'm not even sure if he already told told you this. But the fact that before he even broke the board, the board was already broken. Hold on. Oh my god. Yeah, see here. Punch his skateboard clean in half. 
you gotta be really angry to get that level of punch. I'm mad. No. Yeah, you see it right there. It, it looks like it was already broken before you even punched it. Totally fake. Holy shit, he punched his skateboard clean in half. Well, you gotta be really angry to get that level of punch. I'm mad! <laughs> times he's saved by a kind soul who gives him a lemonade and a pat on the back, welcoming him to the new town. This is a lady down on the all day. I'm coming! Ah, what a nice lady. Seems like she's having a bit of a domestic with her spouse. Hmm. Please, I'll find it. Wait, what? She's just screaming at a random electrician as if it were a family member, and she just left him in there to give some kid lemonade? Apparently, she has some sort of issue with her electricity, like she hasn't paid for it or something like that. Not my concern. Wait, what? What are you doing over there, Zach? Oh, that's no, nasty. No, not wait, you going to make him I drink that? What doing right now! Oh, I'm serious. Did, did, you, did you break something? Did you do something illegal? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> it's kind of obvious to the audience what's going on here. How exactly has this kid, Zach, figured out how to fix her anomalous electricity situation the moment he met her? Oh my god, lady, he's drinking your fish! Yeah, uh, uh. I'm drinking your pet fish, and that's funny to you! That's a joke! No reaction! Also, this was, what, part of the plan? You, you did that first? Nasty. You went and first thing, you put her pet fish in the drink first of all, assuming that she would be okay with the pet fish dying, and that he would drink this at all and not see the fish, and also, when you broke the glass with the rock, how did you replace the glass? Were you carrying an extra glass with you to put on there? Sometimes, the thing you're looking for is staring you right in the face. Oh my god. Are you my ghost mom? Let me... Now, what can I do for you? Huh? Excuse me, what did you just say? Well, oh, I'm not gonna let my hero get out of a place like this without a reward. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a legit board. But what? What you have some decent sleep while the other way, maybe? Cow! What's that supposed to mean? Excuse me? Oh, oh, sorry about that. What's that supposed to be? <laughs> this is crack. <laughs> the reference to the drug game. Dark Rider. Why? What's the problem? Shouldn't there be a few scenes where the kids make fun of it first or something to give them a reason to work on it? Like, I don't know, if one of them said, Wow, that's pretty stupid objectively. It looks like some sort of clown board. And then Zach was like, I'll show you. I'll make the best skateboard of all time. And then I'll kill all of you and hide the body. And he went, not that last part. Like, he literally even slapped the motor to this thing out of nowhere for no reason. And it's not like it was established that Zach was some sort of whiz kid or anything like that. He's just a normal kid. I mean, we're talking about the guy who has a hat that says wow on it, okay? Oh, mom, upside down. Rummage time! You know oh, what? God. I don't need to know about rummage time. So, Zach takes his new skateboard out for a test run when he runs into trouble with the neighborhood gang. Then, all of a sudden... Wait, what? Zach, Levine, it's your turn to attack. What the fudge? What does a man do? <laughs> what? Halfway through a movie, the fudge. a skateboard begins to speak. What does a man do then? <laughs> I'm destroyed. <laughs> so finally, now we know what Dom DeLuise had to do with this monstrosity. You didn't have to do it, Dom! Who forced you? Did you need a paycheck? Don't get me started! Is it Tyler? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, well. So now, as if the movie wasn't confusing enough for oh, you, God. you got a wisecracking skateboard from Brooklyn babbling half-assedly like he took too many Percocet this morning. <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. Right, at least Snake's got the right idea, though. Sit back, eat a taco, watch the fire. <laughs> I'm just confused. If it... You know, if like one mind. guy here had a car, 
we should all be fine. <laughs> True. What, you're just gonna stop chasing your target now? This guy gets a little oil on him, you're all in hysterics? What are you, actual babies? So, back at the house, Zach talks to his skateboard. Hello? Rick? Hey, Rick. What oh the? My God, what happened? <laughs> Believe it. That'll be a bit hard on account of everything weird. about this. You understand what I'm saying? Of course I do. I wasn't assembled yesterday. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, wait, you know, actually, yeah, I think you were, though. Now, I think you might have been assembled today. Grab on! Disguise! Uh, okay. I don't wanna. It's weird and creepy. This little thing. It's like the main what? thing you Oh, use. God. What? Around. Did they just use whatever they had in the garage when they were designing this? Wow, <laughs> this magical skateboard is mildly impressive. So, as expected, the skateboard and the boy become friends in a story as classic as the Jungle Book. And also, as expected, the dad is now a clown. Wait, what? Why, because he was fired? That's precisely the problem, sentient skateboard. Why don't you go home and tell mother she wants you? Hey, no, wait, my forebears are just a little Oh, yeah, no chance she's leaving, Zach. Sorry, skateboard will like some young. Yeah, she's going to my business. It is my business. My mom's a little baby. Oh. Hold on a second. Okay, my apologies. My mom called me into eating ice cream. Which is also a bait for me to, once I finish my ice cream, I have to do my dishes. I have to do all the dishes that was in the sink. So, I did. But, anyway, we are back. That is not, that doesn't matter anymore. We are back. We are going to finish this without any interruptions. And that's it. Let's do this. I swear to God, movies always do this. The screenwriter doesn't know how to manufacture meaningful drama. It always comes back to mom's dead. My dad died. She needs surgery. My papa is a clown. So just a quick <laughs> sum up. The used car salesman has a lot of money and tries to woo the mother of this girl into marrying him because if she does, all her mortgage and medical bills will be magically taken care of. She resists, of course, because he's this guy. That Frankie boy. This should be a catch on this. Tonight. Oh my god. He barely even made his target with that throw. Is it just mandatory to do things in a way evolution did not account for to be a cool skateboard from the 90s? <laughs> yeah, that's a smart boy. Just jam all that metal in there. See what happens. Huh? See what comes out. <laughs> Dad comes home with the crown oh. hair yeah. goes to his head. Another tragic scene ensues where Zach tries to remove it and things get real for a second. Hey, get off! Unbeknownst to Clown Man Boy, Zach is invited over the mother and daughter, making the clown hair situation extra hilarious, you know what I'm talking about. Can I take your coats or anything? Oh my god. Now I feel for the guy here. And that's the worst, you just want to hang up somebody's coat in your closet, couch falls out. I mean, that just makes you look like an asshole, embarrasses them for standing there watching that monstrosity. One time, uh, I was trying to hang up a lady's coat, uh, <laughs> couch fell out of my closet. Don't look at me, that's pretty weird. <laughs> that meal was really good, but all of a sudden, I don't know. What is going on in here? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Come on. Quit that. Quit it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I said stop. You're freaking me out there. <laughs> oh, God. It looks like you're the one that needs the help, Tom. <laughs> 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 yeah, now, Steve Cowboy Douchebag. Thug life for everybody. Clown boy, good guy, just trying to steal the girls away from them. With the lady hiding over here in the corner like some sort of abused housewife and now the rival <laughs> oh, God. between them is real. Okay, Bill, what can I do for you? It's about your mortgage. Radical! <laughs> oh my God, that's sad. Dan the cowboy finally convinces Maggie to marry him in order for her to pay off her mortgage and save her daughter. Jenny is reasonably upset at hearing this news so the skateboard tells her jokes to make her happy. Luckily, we'll get you everywhere. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't have even the slightest clue what you could have said there. That dude looked like Michael J. Fox. Well, from like different perspective, he looks like Michael J. Fox when he's not. 
So this was about treasure the whole time? You waited 47 minutes for this shit? Wait, why'd you have to marry her for a little bit of a potress. In your family. What's she got to do with it? Does she even know about it? What's the talking skateboard for? Who's the, who's the talking skateboard is? <laughs> Great granddaddy left behind just so us later tenders would know. So wait, you, you have the map to the treasure as well? Buddy, you, you're all set. No! I got scared. It's a scarecrow. Figures. It's good. That's good shit right there. <laughs> I'm gonna need every last drop of this. <laughs> blah blah blah, more pointless comments, oh, yeah. more skateboarders, and long story short, we're here at the wedding while Jenny hates her life. And this woman in holy Ooh. marriage. Uh hi, Donald. Where everybody got there? You know what it is, cheer head. Oh <laughs> Maggie, take Dan to be your lawfully wedded husband. Awfully wedded, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go back. I gotta go back. Okay, so he get Do you, Maggie, take Dan to be your lawfully wedded husband? Awfully wedded, you mean. <laughs> Look at all that kush. <laughs> I'm smoking a whole day today. <laughs> But where is the map? Is the map like at her house or something? Uh, Wait, what? Uh, Wait, what the fudge? This is flying. Uh, wow. Oh, the skateboard oh, broke and died. That's unfortunate. Oh, his hat really says mom upside down. That's, That's what I'm saying. Oh, I watched this whole fucking thing. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's insane. unfortunate. He was staring him right in the face the whole time. Or at least he was staring other people in the face, but mainly if they were looking at it upside down in a mirror. Uncle Dad, <laughs> you really are my hero. Oh, God. Come on, it's stop. Genetic. Oh, just stop. It's just... What a great film. And now, in honor of the true skateboard boy, I present you with this homage. Wait, what do you mean homage? Are you serious? Is he really making a song? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Alright, hold on. I gotta hear this. It's so cheesy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck was it? What the heck was it? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a serious pro. <laughs> by the wonderful people at audible.com now if you don't know about them they are an amazon audiobook company you can listen to your audiobooks on a computer or take it on the go with your phone or tablet it's all connected to your one account so this month i recommend to you the revenant a novel of revenge if you've seen the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio recently uh, the revenant it's the book that inspired the film you go to my and book, also showed the right fact now, that you can now, never win a fight right between a bear against a bear as well as a free 30-day trial i implore you please do Well, that was the Skateboarding Boy 
and with John Tron's review of it, and I find it very funny. That was actually hilarious. His re- that was really great. I enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys didn't pay attention or hear anything from the video that I was watching, I suggest you go watch their video first before watching this. Because I assure you, this video is pretty funny. I actually enjoyed it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.